Good morning, it's Monday. We begin 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, the day of the Lord. I'm going to read the first two verses today. Now as to the times and the epochs, brethren, you have no need of anything to be written to you. For, ye, for you yourselves know full well that the day of the Lord will come just like a thief in the night. Paul has just finished describing, and we saw on Saturday how uh, when Jesus appears, the dead in Christ will rise, and those who are alive will be uh, transformed in the twinkling of an eye, and will be taken off to heaven. Now, we often call this the day of the Lord, the day when Jesus returns. When is it going to be? Well, people have been trying to figure that out. Paul expected it in his time. It's why he wrote to the Thessalonians, they were worried what will happen with those who have died already. They thought Jesus would come back then. Many, many years have gone by. He could come back today, tomorrow. Could be a hundred years, could be a thousand years. Nobody knows. When Jesus was asked, he said, I don't know. Only my Father in heaven knows, not even the angels know. So how can we purport to know something that even Jesus didn't know when he was here on the earth? And it's none of our business. You see, what's important is that Jesus said it will be like a thief in the night when we don't expect it. And that we are to be awake, sober and watching. And what I always say to people too is realize this. That for each one of us individually, the day of the Lord is only as far away as the day of our death. For the moment we close our eyes in death, time basically stops. And so the next thing we will see when we are in the resurrection We'll be meeting the Lord in the air. So you see, my friends, we need to be awake all the time. Let's not worry about trying to set a date and trying to read the signs. We know the signs. The signs are all there. It could be very soon, but it's in God's hands. If we needed to know, he'd tell us, but he hasn't told us. He wants us to be living with that expectation every single day, ready for him when he comes. In the meantime, what are we to do? Put our hands together, put our hands in our laps and sit on our blessed assurances. One of my favorite ministers says, no, we're to be working. Jesus said, you're the light of the world, the salt of the earth. Go and make disciples of all nations. Proclaim the good news. By this shall all men know you are my disciples if you have loved one for another. So we are to be working, spreading his love, being his ambassadors till the day he either comes or he calls us home. May God help us to always be alert, awake, sober, watching and waiting. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we bow our heads before you in the precious name of Jesus, your Son and our Lord. We thank you that we know the day is coming. We know that one day you will come and take us to be with you. But till that day arrives, Lord, may we be faithfully serving you, watching, serving, loving, believing, Lord, help us. We offer ourselves to you and you today as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to you. This is our reasonable service of worship. Help us not to be conformed to this world, but to be transformed with the renewing of our minds, to know what is the good, perfect and acceptable will of God. I pray for every listener, Lord, you know exactly what they need. I pray that you would just bless them. I thank you for them. I pray that you would reach out your arms and strengthen and comfort, embolden, enliven. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on our nation. Have mercy, Lord, on our government. Give them wisdom. Help them to be wise. Help them to discern the times in which we live. We pray this also, Lord, for the church. We also pray, Lord, for those who are suffering under tyranny. Especially we pray for our brothers and sisters that are persecuted for their faith. Forgive those that persecute them. They've got no idea who they're fighting and what they're doing. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on the lost souls. Have mercy on the Ukraine. Have mercy on Israel and Palestine. There's so much bloodshed, so much unrest. Lord, have mercy. We pray, Lord, for those who live in fear daily. Only you can give peace. We pray for the sick, the dying, the poor, the needy, the homeless, the helpless. Lord, have mercy. We commit all to you. We ask that you lead us and guide us. And hear us as we pray, our Father, who art in heaven. Hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. 
Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, the glory, now and forever. Amen. So my friends, have a blessed day. God be with you. God willing, I'll see you all tomorrow.